Okay, I'd like to demonstrate here what we've done with our aquaponics system in using minnow, minnows or mosquito fish, Gambusia offense. This entire aquaponics system has turned into a mosquito eating system. So if I move these little flats, this is Oriental Greens right here. I'm going to move them out of the way so you can see what's underneath. And what's under here, lettuce, is a whole bunch of mosquito fish. all the, mal the malaria-carrying, dengue-carrying, West Nile-carrying mosquito larvae. This has turned this entire system into a mosquito trap. We have no mosquitoes on our seven-acre property. Even though we are in the middle of a very, very high mosquito area, our neighbors also have no mosquitoes on their property. The mosquitoes come here to lay their eggs. There's lots and lots of water, which looks like an ideal place to lay eggs to mosquitoes. But instead of the larva hatching and living in this still water, this still fresh water, the larvae are eaten by mosquito fish. That is what has turned this entire system into a giant mosquito trap. Okay, so here's just a quick rundown of the first IBC slash swimming pool aquaponics setup that I've made. I just finished most of this yesterday, and so it's not quite cleared up yet from uh, having a little bit of stagnant water, but basically, here's the IBC with the top cut off of it. Um, actually, technically this is the bottom because the top is going to be the garden bed that goes on top of it, on top eventually. Uh, here's some plumbing. Basically. This part right here is the drain, and then this part right here is the filler. And these are just some PVC that I put on here to keep from cutting myself on these sharp edges. Um, so this drain goes down and then goes underneath these swimming pools that I have made for garden beds. And they're all connected um, by one pipe. So this drain in the middle of this garden bed this drain in the middle of this garden bed. Those are two bell siphons. And then this one just kind of free flows down through that same pipe. Because I don't have a lot of water pressure right now with the pump that I have, uh, this water going down this pipe helps create enough volume going through that when these fill up, eventually the bell siphons will activate. And then they all drain out into kind of a sump of sorts over here which is kind of a funny story, but I'll get into it another time. But that's about it. Um, not a lot to see fish-wise, because the water is so murky right now. But in a couple days, it'll clear up, I think. And hopefully we'll have something to show you in there. There's just a little bit of duckweed on here right now that was kind of left from when I had this just sitting with water in it. But uh, if you notice this little pool over here off to the side, this is just extra water I have on standby in case I have to add water to the system. I don't want to use just fresh water from the hose because it's too chlorinated for the fish. And then this one is another reserve that I have also holding water in case I need to add some to the system. Um, eventually this will get on top of here and be planted with plants as well but uh, I haven't figured out how to do that just yet. I think this nice herky piece of plywood's gonna go on top and provide the support that I need because that thing is heavy. Uh, probably a couple hundred pounds with water and gravel in it. So, that's where I'm at. Thanks for watching.